Hey guys, it's Chase with csjoseph.life. So we just finished a video on, uh, you know, the introduction to the temperaments and basically looking at the guardians, also known as the traditionalists. And uh, today we're going to talk about the SPs as part of their temperament, which is the artisans. <coughs> so artisans are basically freedom-based creators. They're very creative. Um, they have a lot of mechanical awareness. They can manipulate the physical environment around them. This includes uh, working on cards, um, running an excavator, uh, being very good at construction, home building, drawing, uh, designing, uh, basically anything that you can do with your hands. Uh, or use hand tools with. And it's with those things that they're able to manipulate the physical environment. The four types that make up artisans, also uh, the freedom-based creators, are the SP types, which is ESTP, ESFP, uh, ISTP, uh, the ISFP. Um, they all live in the moment. Uh, they are all about what they want. Willpower is everything to them. They do have a sense of duty, similar to how the SJ types have a sense of duty and a sense of discipline, basically, because that introverted sensing is about duty and discipline. <clears throat> but it's very low. It's in their uh, unconscious side of their mind. It's not in their conscious side of their mind. And because of that, uh, they're more prone to giving into their willpower. That's what motivates them. It's like, what do I want to do instead of what, do, what should I do? That's the difference in their motivation. So, in that regard, uh, you always have to be able to give an SP type freedom of choice. Like, if you're, especially if you're raising like an SP child, you know, do you want to go to bed now or do you want to go in bed in five minutes? They're still going to bed, right? But you've given them the choice. They feel respected, they appreciate that, and they're able to uh, make that happen, right? So, that is the choice that. Uh, we need to make as parents who have SP, uh, SPs of children, uh, especially like, or even if you have a, an SP uh, spouse of some kind, um, your spouse, you have to be able to give them choice and everything. And usually if you're in a relationship with an SP type, you're likely an SJ already. So you're already based on what you should do. And they'll tell you what you should do, what they want you to do. And then you would do that because you love them or respect them essentially. So, <clears throat> SPs make up 30% of the world's population. Uh, they're the other part of the sensors. They combine with the SJ types to complete all of the sensors. SJs and SPs make up 70% of the world's population. S types, because they're very sensing focused, uh, focus on reality. Uh, they're not really open to theory as much, although SJ types are a bit more open to theory. They're more open-minded in that way. But SP types are just focused on the here and now, the physical world. Um, it's not real to them unless it's in front of their face. Um, they take a lot of time uh, to make their decisions. It could be based on logic or based on, uh, on morality uh, in terms of their introverted decision-making forms. And uh, they're all about giving other people a good experience, uh, constantly all about giving others a good experience, trying to show something to other people. And it all stems from their creativity. Creativity is everything to them. And they know that without freedom, they cannot be creative. <clears throat> so for example, you have a room and let's say you take any of the SP types and you lock them in a room and there's no windows or nothing. And that they're locked in there. One way or another, they're coming through that door. And it won't take very long. They will come to that door and that door will come down because they'll just get super ragey because SP types, especially SP types, uh, SE parent, SE hero, which make up the uh, SE types for the four types that are uh, in, the, the, in the artisan's uh, temperament. Um, they have what is known as expert sensing rage, and they can get really ragey about anything really quick. 
I mean, the whole stereotype of, oh, this guy drank alcohol and becomes an angry, he's an angry drunk. Yeah, that's an SP because alcohol makes them way more sensitive and how they react to things, they have to react to things in the moment instead of reacting to something later. Uh, the reason is, is because SP types believe that if something bad happens in the moment, if they don't react to it now, that thing they're reacting to, well, it'll lose energy, they'll forget about it, it won't be relevant to them later. So if they don't react to it right now, they're not ever going to have that opportunity to react to it. Whereas an SI type like myself or even SJs, they're willing to wait till later and bring it up till later when it's more equal footing on their ground. SP types, if they're going to like go into a fight with someone, they're all about fighting fair. They're all about fighting man to man and face to face in that way. You know, whereas like an S SJ type um, or even like my type, we'd be willing to like wait and lie in wait over time and then nail them when they least expect it uh, to give us the uh, advantage. Uh, so, you know, and SPs are all about, they're really good tacticians. They're all about reacting to things in the moment. They're not so focused on planning ahead. So they are, they're basically reacting. So in a physical confrontation or any negative situation in their life, they're going to approach it with tactics. A tactic being a decision that you make to help you uh, improvise or react to a specific situation in the moment. Whereas a strategy is something that's planned ahead of time um, before, uh, you know, before a fight or a battle or a conflict of some kind. But an SP type doesn't even care about that. They're just, they're just tacticians. They, they have to react to everything in the moment. They take it one step at a time. Their day happens to them, whereas an SJ type, uh, the, the guardians, the guardians plan out their day and their day, they happen to their day. An SP type, that's not how it works. Uh, the day happens to them. They wake up in the morning, they just let, they just, the day comes at them and then they just react to that day point per point per point all the way through. Whereas an SJ type, the, the guardians, they wake up in the morning and they have their entire day basically planned as to how it's going to go. And then they end up getting emotionally distraught when that plan doesn't go according to plan. Whereas an SP type, an artisan type, well, if they have too much planning, they, they feel like there's no freedom for improvisation, there's no freedom to be creative basically, and then they end up getting emotionally distraught because of that. So SJ types have to be in equilibrium or balance with SP types basically. And that's why they go together. That's why SJs should always be with SPs because there's highest compatibility there relationship wise. Um, <clears throat> it's different with the thinkers and the idealists. Uh, it's preferable if thinkers are with thinkers, intellectuals are with intellectuals, and idealists are with idealists, basically. It's a little bit different on the intuitive side. But in the sensing realm, SJ types should definitely go with SP types. Uh, it's because the SP types are trying to give the sensation that the uh, SJ types are trying to receive, essentially. And we'll talk more about that later when it comes to uh, identifying specific compatibilities between uh, the 16 types. Because um, not every type is capable of having a relationship or friendship or even a working relationship um, uh, you know, with just any type. It, it doesn't work like that. Everyone thinks that that's possible and it's really not especially if you look at things like socionics. I mean, socionics is wrong about compatibility, let's be honest, but at least socionics is aware of the fact that not everybody is compatible with everybody. Whereas people who are like very pro MBTI or on the INTJ forums, they often post about how, oh yeah, it's possible that any type could technically be with any type. That's not actually true, like not even remotely. So SP types sexually, they really like being on top that's primary. Uh, secondary for them is to be on bottom, basically. They're all about giving the sensation. They want it, that the person that they're with is their, their canvas with which they're going to paint upon in, in the bedroom, basically. And they take that very seriously. Um, and the SJ type is all about being that canvas for the SP person to write upon or to etch upon or to paint upon, etc. Um, and uh, <clears throat> the same thing kind of works with how uh, you know they are in business. SP types are usually they do construction or they're doing some kind of media creation. It's all about art or um, um, crafting something or trying to tear down a structure to rebuild a new one or to uh, 
create the ultimate experience. And that's everything they're about, is creating, finding the ultimate experience, creating the ultimate experience, and showing everybody. Because to them, their art is who they are. Their art is a way to tell the truth, because they can't really share their beliefs on the truth because they're so concerned about what other people think about them or how other people feel about them. <clears throat> to the point of being insecure about it. Or to the point of being childishly innocent about it because they really want to give that good experience to, to anyone they come and encounter with. They come, they encounter, essentially. So, that's basically the artisans um, freedom-based creators. You always have to give them a choice. You always have to give them freedom. Um, they're all about giving sensation. They're all about being showy and showing off constantly, especially ISTPs who literally believe they're the smartest of all the types, and they'll tell you. Um, they can come off very arrogantly that way. Uh, they're all about uh, living in the moment. They have very good mechanical awareness, very good mechanical aptitude. Um, SJ women believe that SP men are literally the standard of what men should actually be, uh, for example. And that type of bias towards men has been present in, in our culture for generations. If you're a man, you don't know how to pick up a, a hammer, for example, and you can't take a hammer to a nail, then you're less of a man, basically. It's because of that SJ bias, um, because you know our society is an SJ society. And that SJ society really goes out of its way to appease or support the, their SP partners, essentially. So in this sensing dominated society, there isn't much room for respect in the direction of idealists or intellectuals by any means, because intellectuals and idealists, because they have a lower mechanical awareness than the SPs, uh, they end up being accused of being less masculine or you know or less mature in some cases or less capable for example like for example Steve Jobs he was an intellectual and Steve Wozniak accused him you know of not being able to take a hammer to the nail in the most recent Steve Jobs movie that is um, and uh, I mean he's right Steve Wozniak is correct about Steve Jobs but does that make Steve Jobs any less of a man I mean let's be honest so we need to be aware of these uh, temperament biases in society or just in our lives or even in our families because it's, it's, really, it's really lame. And, and it goes even further. Like, for example, um, I had an ENFJ father. He tried to live vicariously through me. He's trying, his subconscious is the ISTP, so he wants to be like the ISTP, so he's trying to get me to be like an ISTP. Even though I'm an ENTP, and the ISTP's first perceiving function is experted sensing, but my experted sensing is my lowest function, and then he ends up becoming unhappy with me, or uh, you know, uh, um, not as proud of me because I'm not really that interested in working on the car with him because I just don't have that mechanical awareness. It just doesn't mean that much to me as an ENTP in that way, right? Uh, fathers like to, when they're living vicariously through their children, it's usually through their subconscious that they're trying to do because they are trying to become their own subconscious. They're trying to aspire to be that sub subconscious and grow that subconscious. And if they can do that with their children, then it makes them feel like you know, that they've, they've arrived. Um, and, and men do this a lot, right? In particular with the SP types, their subconscious are basically, um, it's like an ISTP, you know, is, is trying to be like an idealist, right? Or an, uh, same thing with an ESTP. An ESFP, though, is trying to be an intellectual. So it's like, it's really different. Um, half the artisans are trying to be more intellectual, while the other half of the uh, artisans are trying to be more people-focused, more idealist, right? And that's how their compatibility goes when it comes to the SJ types. Because an ESTJ, for example, actually prefers STPs. So STJs prefer STPs, whereas SFJs prefer SFPs. And it's because, okay, well, where's the focus? Are you trying to be more intellectual or are you trying to be more um, ideal, essentially more people-focused? So 
in a nutshell, that is what artisans are all about. Um, Freedom-based creators, uh, mechanical awareness, mechanical genius in some cases, um, live in the moment, uh, they can rage at things and you need to give them the opportunity to rage out at something in the moment or else, uh, or completely take that away from them. In some cases, it could be beneficial actually to not let them have the opportunity to rage by just completely withdrawing from them. And, uh, and that way they just fizzle out and then they're not a problem anymore. The thing about SPs is that they forget everything eventually. They live so much in the moment that new data is coming to their mind and pushing all the old out. So after a while, if there's a conflict or a bad situation, you just have to outlast them. You just have to wait it out because eventually they'll forget and it's no longer as relevant to them anymore. Even though they'll always like tell you, oh, I have the best memory in the world, especially ISTPs. ISTPs will tell you that the most. Um, and maybe sometimes ISFPs, but ISTPs would even more. They, they could get really prideful with their TI hero. So, so just be aware of that. That's one advantage that you can have over SB types is to just outlast them. If you outlast them, they'll forget about what they were doing or what they were mad about, and then it just doesn't matter anymore because they forgot. It allows SJ types to actually just, you know, like SJ types have insane longevity. They're usually the people living to like in their 90s and their 100s. They're usually almost always SJ types. So because of that, they're just outlasting everybody, and they can outlast the punishment that SPs give, you know especially since SPs have a higher proclivity to uh, be physically abusive in their relationships. Um, you know, whereas SJs would be, have a higher chance of being emotionally abusive, for example. Uh, it's different. Uh, people, people take out their tendencies differently on each other than most people would. So, so anyway, that is the artisan temperament uh, for ESTPs, ESFPs, ISTPs, ISFPs. Um, and if you found this video helpful or educational, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to uh, answer your questions. So more on this topic later. Have a good night.